Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing this commission with you, which is an old sewing box, which I have funked up. So I hope you like this tutorial and let's get to it. As always, I'm starting off with a super good clean. I'm just using a sponge and some sugar soap and then I'm washing away any residue. I let it dry outside and then I sanded it with, I think, 120 um, sandpaper. This is pretty beat up so it needed a really good sand, especially on the slats of wood on the top. I used a tack cloth to take away any sanding residue and then I went in with my primer. I'm using an oil-based primer which has been tinted to grey here. I had to be very careful when I was painting the door. You'll see I sort of open it as I go along because I can't put too much paint on this mechanism because that's how it opens. It slides along in a little crevice so you have to sort of be careful not to stick them all together. I'm using a smooth two fussy blokes roller for this and then going in with a brush because there are lots of little crevices on this that I need to do. As you can see, I'm painting the legs here, so I took them off, it just made it easier. Now I'm going in with my semi-smooth roller and Little Star by Fusion. The coverage on this is amazing, so I will show you what this looks like after one coat once I'm done painting. I had to do this sort of in two parts because to turn it upside down, I didn't want the other side to get damaged, which had been painted. So I painted the top and then the bottom separately after it dried. So as promised, this is what it looked like after one coat of Little Star by Fusion. Super good coverage and I'm really impressed. Now for what is usually the fun part, but I was actually dreading this with this design. And I drew out the design in watercolor pencil because you can just wipe it away afterwards. But you can see I put a line down the center and then two lines equidistant um, from that line to sort of create this little chevron down the center. I've got other videos on chevrons so they could be really helpful to you if you are the first time doing this. Also, I wanted the little corners to be curved and I just did that by hand, nothing very fancy. I did sort of sketch around like a the top of a Pritt stick to get the curve sort of similar on all the different ones, but I really just freehanded it. And then here I am taking off the tape. You can see I had lots of bleeds with this because it was such a lumpy surface. For some of the colors, because I didn't have the right color in wood paint, I just used emulsion and then I went over it with polyurethane and varnish at the end. So it's super durable, but they did take a good few coats to get a really vibrant color. Then I just did some touching up with the yellow and it made it look really neat. what is up i thought i would talk you through this commission and talk about what went wrong what went well <laughs> i think the list of what went wrong was um a lot longer and um, i'm probably doing this commission maybe 30 weeks now just because i had a different commission and i work full time so it takes me a bit longer sometimes with like the more detailed things but because the sewing box has all these ridges that need to move around the piece like this is how it works um so with, like the mechanism it's on like a little not a runner but like a little crevice and you have to like move it around so because of that like any paint that's like in between each little flat like would prevent it from moving so i had to sort of break off each slot and um, if the paint was sticking and then repaint it so i still have a few touch-ups to do on that section like the actual door itself uh, so i haven't done anything with this many colors in so long that i forgot how difficult it can be like i would do a stripe and then i would need to touch it up and then by touching it up i would cause issues to the other stripe so stuff like that was just really really frustrating also with the masking tape i really should have sealed it with the color above it each time because there's so many crevices on this piece that it was just bleeds everywhere you will see when i'm like removing the masking tape that i don't think there was like one clean line and um, so at the minute i have nearly everything done and um, i'm just putting the last final coats on the trays doing some varnishing and then i'm also going to fix the door that i was telling you about. at the minute i'm painting these trays Ooh, i love this color so much this is curiously pink by fusion it was limited edition and um, so you can't get it you can't even see how fast this pink is on the camera but trust me it's like so vibrant it's almost neon like i'm going to 
varnished inside of these because like all the sewing bits are going to go into it so I like she hand sews the client so I don't want her to be worried about like the bottom of it chipping so I'm going to like spray varnish these I think then I've also done the legs with little pink socks so cute that is it I hope you are enjoying this video and you enjoy the end result thanks guys so I originally wanted to paint the entire of these boxes pink but they are too tightly slot into the piece itself so I couldn't so I'm taping off the inside and painting that pink I'm also taping off the little socks on the legs I sealed the paint on the legs because I was afraid that it would seep through so I just got the yellow and painted it onto the tape before applying the pink and that just meant I got a really sharp edge on the little socks how cute. I tried to explain the little pink socks to my boyfriend and he was picturing tiny little baby socks on my piece of furniture. <laughs> this is the end result. I'm super super happy with how it turned out. I think the stripes look amazing and the little pink socks. I'm going to show you a look into the inside of the box also. I couldn't paint the inside as I was saying because the boxes slot too tightly in there so I had to keep that wood but overall I'm really really happy with it and I think it's a very effective piece. I hope you liked this video and if you did make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at ColorfulSaz. I'll see you next week.